Are you lost in the woods? Do you know what you're gonna do? Are you prepared? Well, Koglins is gonna help you. We're gonna review their survival kit. Check this out. So Max, when you say that this packaging is small, I love the fact that it's, it's a little bigger than an Altoid pen. What do you think about that? I, I mean, it's just very... It being compact, like you're able to shove it into your backpack if you're ever in a situation where you need to uh, use any of these. Uh, you'll be good to go. I like this. I like how small it is and look at the list of things that are on this I mean, you've got a ton of stuff packed into this very small can and I really I've always been Fascinated by you getting a lot of stuff into a very little tin So we're gonna open this thing up and we're gonna see all of the different things that are in this um, the packaging is uh, is ex very explain it, it's uh, descriptive and explains a lot, but it's what's inside we want to see. So we're going to get rid of that packaging. It's a little extra. We can start a fire with that and throw that away, I guess. But anyway, um, the tin, the first thing I noticed about the tin is it's not resealable, which I think is a fail. Um, I think if you're going to have all, an opportunity to use any of this stuff in a survival situation, you're going to want to be mobile and you're going to want to put this stuff back in the container. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're going out uh, on a camping trip, I wouldn't leave home without one of these. But I also think that maybe it needs to have a lid on it so that once you use it, you know, it's not. Uh, it's also very lightweight. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. Um, some of the survival kits that I've made, I have a survival kit in uh, Heather's car that is made out of an Altoid tin. And it's, it's pretty heavy compared to this. This is very lightweight. So we're, it reminds me of a can of sardines. That's exactly the thickness and exactly the kind of can they use. And uh, we're going to pop that top right there and see what's inside. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here we go. All right. It just pops open. And I'm sorry you can't see through my big pudgy fingers, but here we go. It just opens like that and peels back like that. We've never opened one of these before, so this is the first time we're seeing it. But I, I like what I'm seeing so far. In, in, in my mind, this is... Part of the fail because what are you going to do with that on a trail? You're going to have to carry that around. Um, there's not going to be a trash can if you're hiking in deep woods. I think what you might need to do is put that somewhere safe where it doesn't cut you. But uh, I, I think that might be uh, uh, one area where they might be able to improve. Again, I go with the plastic lid that could make it resealable. That might make more sense. Okay. First thing I notice is I think the paper that they say is in here. And so we're gonna pull that out right now and uh, see what kind of paper this is. Oh, this is duct tape. This is the duct tape. This is the duct tape. So it's got tw a foot of duct tape in it. How handy is that, you know, when you're ever on the trail and the tent breaks? Mm -hmm. This is what you could use to patch it with. This is a very smart idea, I like that. Uh, so duct tape, that's a win. Thumbs up, yay, thumbs up. Uh, let's see what we got next. We've got a antiseptic wipe, I think. Oh no, this is the soup. This is the uh, rich flavor to your uh, soups, gravies, stews, and casseroles. Stir contents into uh, some water, boiling water, or simply sprinkle into your favorite recipes while cooking. So that's a that's a good win. I like that, and it's a chicken bouillon packet. All right. So Max, what do you see next? Uh, that looks like saran wrap or a plastic bag. It looks like it is a Ziploc bag. But you know what I think they might be thinking? You take the rest of this stuff and you put it in the Ziploc bag. Um, there's the book of matches. That would be the first thing I'd put in there, to be honest with you, yeah. because that way uh, they don't get... Wait, those might be the waterproof ones. Oh, yeah, those are the waterproof ones. No, these aren't the waterproof ones. The waterproof ones are here. Oh, okay. um, these are just a regular book of matches, and let me tell you, those will go quick, so you gotta use them sparingly yep. on your uh, thing. So we'll keep those over there. All right, so we see the tea bag right here on top. Let me reach in there and pull that out. And uh, when you're cold and you are on the uh, trail, what is better than a little bag of tea, right? That's a yeah, good deal. absolutely. It's got the ingredients on it. You just peel that off. What's inside of it? Um, it is black tea. 
Oh, okay. So normal, like a normal. Just everyday. normal iced tea. Iced tea. Yeah. So you get just, you know, do something like that, and you can dip it, switch it, swirl it. Um, yeah, so I think that's a good idea. That's a smart idea to have tea. I did, I would not have thought about that. I would not have thought, hey, put a tea bag in there. That's a really smart idea. That's why these guys do what they do. It's because they they probably been down this road again. All right, razor blade. You always need to cut something, scrape something. There's a bunch of different stuff that you might need to cut on the road. A rope, um, bandages, duct tape, whatever it is. So that little uh, razor blade could be very useful in a pinch if you guys uh, get lost on the trail and need something sharp. So I like having that razor blade in here. That's smart. We'll just put that right there. Next thing we found in here were some waterproof um, waterproof matches. And see, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's a little coating on there that keep them uh, waterproof. And uh, those could be handy in the middle of a, a downpour, don't you think? Yeah. Very cool. All right, we'll set those right there so you guys can see them. Um, next thing we've got is a bunch of twine because you know you're gonna need that. That's something that's, oh, that's smart. They put a little zip tie around, or a little uh, tire, trash bag tie around it as well. So what would you use this for, Max? Um, well, I would say that if you're uh, say if your shoelace got broken, like if it was teared in half, you could replace that with your shoelace. And also, if um, you got a very severe cut, either on your finger or on your wrist, uh, you could put gauze over it and then wrap that around your wrap rope. the rope around wrap it. Wrap the rope around it. That's pretty and smart. Keep pressure and on it. Again, this is a multi-use tool that you're going to find in a little pack like this, which I think is really, really smart. So we're going to just set that right up there and look at some other things. Of course, the other thing you can do is you can use it as thread. Look at that needle they keep in there. That's huge. That's a great needle. Pointy. So, uh, you know, your tent goes south, you rip a hole in your pants, you need to sew something. That's what you're going to use it for. I think that's a really great idea. Very good idea. Then we've got the safety pins, which uh, if you break a button, guess what you got to do? Use the safety pin. Yep, and there's other applications for that, so those are handy. Those are very smart. Um, this is an interesting thing. What uh, what would we use the wire for? I think I know what that's for, but... Um, I'm not quite sure. All right, so uh, one use that we... Uh, Huh, let's be honest, Heather thought of it, is uh, using this to create a tripod to cook over with, and you could wrap this around the sticks, and uh, it hang it, it would keep things together. But there's a, a lot of multi-uses for that. Um, we like that a lot. That's a smart idea. Um, this is thread. A needle pulling thread. Sew your pants up. Sew your pants up. <laughs> uh, and then you've got that one small little... Now, I'll be honest with you. Something, a, a, a compass this small would still help. Any compass would help, but uh, this one could get lost easily. I mean, that is pretty tiny. Um, so, and it always points north, no matter what you do. So you can spin it. And you know what's interesting is it doesn't, it spins on your finger, which is fun. No matter what I do, it goes back over there. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So north is that way. All right. Put that right there. Let's see what else is in here. There's two fishing hooks. Be careful with those. Once you get a hook in you, you're not getting it out anytime soon. Um, and that's good for fishing, so you can catch your own food. I think that's smart. Um, and uh, I didn't think about putting those in the ones that Heather has in her car, but I guess if she needed to go fishing along the side of the highway, she would have it. Um, there's a uh, whistle in here that you can use for <laughs> safety. And scaring everybody. That's pretty that, handy. That woke Gina like, up. That would be like a distress. Uh, the cat just rubbed up against my leg too. <laughs> this is the energy candy they were talking about. A little bit extra push to get up that hill or to get that, to, to help with that, uh, to help with that. Uh, getting up to. Uh, Mount Suvius. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, there's a double, uh, double bubble gum. Double bubble gum. Um. There's a lot of different uses for this. It could stick things together. 
Um, and it, it, it actually, could it, could it help with your thirst a little bit? Um, maybe not. I don't know. But anyway, there's a treat for you in there, I guess. Um, that's a question mark. I don't know why that's in there. But I, I know you could use it in a lot of creative ways. A couple of nails in case you needed to uh, um, fashion something. Uh, boy, it, it's obvious that I'm not an outdoorsman, but I'm learning, so that's good. And the boys are in Boy Scouts, so they're learning too. And um, it's fascinating to hear from them. So, Max, what do you think um, you would use the nails for? Um, hanging things in trees and well I'd also use them for if you again like the tripod thing if you want to get it a little more secure uh, put the nails inside of it couple fire starters in there oh yeah that's good they packed a lot into this little tin a lot matter of fact I'm not 100% sure we'll get it back in there sugar packet for your tea that's smart we'll put that right over there um this is interesting uh this is a pencil it's a pencil it's a pencil oh that's awesome you just write with it go right yep there you go see it writes it's pretty handy i think that's smart and it's got a little clip on it yeah, so you can clip it on something it's good thinking right there there's it's an alcohol smart. wipe antiseptic wipe yeah, a couple of them actually a couple twist ties because these actually do come in pretty handy for a couple of different things. And then the um, the promised helpful tips uh, to survival in the outdoors. That's pretty cool. And it just has all these little helpful ways to stay warm, um, how to build an SOS signal. That's actually pretty handy, shelter. And it kind of gives you an idea of how you would use some of the tools. Um, you know, just all those kind of mountain rescue things. So that could, that could actually, reading that might save your life. Who knows? That's a pretty handy thing. I like it. <clears throat> I don't have an extensive amount of knowledge and survival out in the wilderness. Blank piece of paper in case you need to make a note or write a letter to your, uh, your uh, family but right before you die. I'm not sure. <laughs> that, that was dark. And um, then uh, last, uh, well, we've got a, one more thing in there. We've got a couple Band-Aids in case you need them. And then uh, you've got this uh, small mirror that you could use to reflect sun and kind of like get people's attention with that. You know, you shine the sun and it shines across and you could kind of get people's attention. So I like it. I think it's a really cool uh, container. But now that we have all the stuff out of it, I don't have a way to put it all back so in. So one thing that Max got recently is this uh, uh, Field and Stream um, magnesium. magnesium and Flint. Max, explain to us what we do. All right, so when you're using this magnesium and Flint, so you use this right here, the serrated thing, as a scraper. So you'll scrape, the. this is the magnesium, you'll scrape it into like a little pile, and then you'll flip it over, and then you'll str uh, strike it with a... Uh, the flint and steel and feel that edge right there it's sharp isn't it yep it's a really sharp edge and so when you strike it there's a there's a there's a spark right yeah it must want to do it fast on. oh there yep it there it goes Fire. Ah! nice so um pretty cool max mm -hmm. that's handy i would say if they could i would and heather had mentioned this earlier i'd rather have this than these but in a pinch and if all i have in room is room for this these will work fine but these are pretty handy right yeah absolutely and you've started many a fire with this yeah i've watched you you do a great job when you do that well guys that's our review on the on the survival kit we may not know everything there is about surviving out in the wilderness but we know a cool survival kit when we see it um, i'm going to see if i can fit any of this back into my altoids can because uh like i said before it's there's no lid to that. So we'll see if we can put it back into the, uh, into the kit. For now. <laughs> Katie's finding all sorts of uh, signs to put on the outside of her doors. Guys, you're being
Well, we didn't get everything out back into the Altoids tin quite as well as it came out of this tin. But man, what a bunch of great stuff. How useful that is. I'm excited we have this and we will find a way for it all to fit. So um, uh, we'll just make it work and this will go into my car since my, uh, Heather already has one in her car. And we'll use this for whenever we go camping. It's a pretty good deal. I like it. Uh, survival kit. Max, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs. Purple thumbs. Purple, Purple thumbs. thumbs. Yep. There you go. There you go. Um, and so, guys, thanks for watching. And, hey, more updates as we go. Bye. All right, Max, so what things did you leave out so that we could have this thing closed and everything else fit? So, uh, the bullion package I left out because it's a little bulky and it's a little, uh, right here, it's like a little thick. So I just left that out. Um, the bubble gum, uh, I left that one out too because it ha takes up a little bit of an immense size right there. And uh, I also left the sugar out just to give a little more space to it too. So there's a lot of great stuff still in there for emergency, right? Yeah, so like Don't, duct tape yeah. and everything, so. Yeah, that's cool. All right, guys.